اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الحمد للہ نحمد و نستعین و نستغفر و نؤمن به و نتوکل علیہ و نعوذ باللہ من شرور انفسنا و من سیئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلله فلا هادي له إن أصدق الحديث كتاب الله وأحسن الهدي هدي محمد والشر الأمور محدثاتها وكل محدثة بدعة وكل بدعة ظلالة وكل ظلالة في النار إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي یا ایوہ الذین آمنوا صلو علیہ وسلم تسلیما اللہم صلی علی سیدنا محمد وعلی آلہ واصحابہ والی بیتہم اجمعین It is very important for us to deliver this message of Allah to the people of the whole world It is very important for the people of the world to know that the final message of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that was sent upon to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam as the final messenger that the message for everyone around the world. So through the people sitting over here I find it obligatory for myself to deliver this message to the people all over the world that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was the final messenger of the God of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the only God Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent more than a hundred thousand messengers for the people but the people kept on betraying themselves from the path kept on deviating themselves from the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so after 700,000 years the mankind has spent on this earth finally it had to come down to the day when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would wrap the mankind, would wrap this world and finally close it for the final day of judgment, final day of resurrection. People did not take heed from the wrath that, that was sent upon on the people of Noah. The people did not take heed from the wrath Allah sent on the people of Lut alayhi salam. The people are not taking heed from the hurricanes and storms and floods and the wildfires and the wars that have been happening and are happening around the world. The Christians keep on associating gods, associating partners with the one and only God, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The na'uzu billah keep on calling Jesus, who was actually a servant of Allah, they keep on calling him the son of Allah, na'uzu billah min zalik. May Allah save us from such, uh, such a wrongdoing. And they keep on associating Mary, the mother of Jesus, alayhi salam, with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has been calling people to oneness. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has been sending signals to the people through, through different scenarios around the world including the destruction and Allah's wrath when people don't take heed. So it had to come down finally to the point where Allah would finally announce his general, his wrath generally 
all around the world similar uh, in the similar fashion it happened to the people of Noah so I have a very important obligation to deliver this message to the people of the world to the people of Arab to the people of West to the people of East and the people all around the world either on mountains either in caves either in the plains either in the deserts or in the seas wherever they are if you if you do not stop associating partners with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if you do not give up on nationalism if you do not give up on your own self-made gods in the form of leaders, politicians, idols, celebrities, and whatever, then this is my obligation to tell, to deliver this message to all of you that by God, the wrath is coming. By God, Allah's wrath is coming. By God, Allah's wrath is coming. By Allah, His wrath is coming. And the people who involve themselves in interest-based economy, who indulge themselves in creating an ecosystem of interest-based transactions, and the people who support this system, and the people who take interest or give interest by their own choice and will, they are just walking along with Allah's wrath. They are just like this with the hellfire and they would only know when the hellfire would finally touch them. Aqulu qawli haza wa astaghfirullah li wa lakum wa li sa'ilil muslimina wal muslimat Allahumma salli ala sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa ashabihi wa ahli baytihi majma'in.